Karen, and it's purely coincidence, but I've been voted to be captain of the Green Team! Yes! <laughs> ha! Please, don't adjust your set, it's Mike, and I'm going to be the captain of Purple! Hi, my name backwards is E Curb, and I'm going to be at Universal making some music of my own. And I'm Tiffany. I'm more than happy today to be the host of Out of Here! We're coming to you from Out of Here, your place at Nick Studios in Orlando, Florida, where kids go nationwide and you decide who's on your side every day on Nickelodeon. because the green team's going to crush the purple team. Right, guys? Yeah! Watch out, watch out, because you guys are going to get burnt. Right, guys? Boy, that was a classic line. And speaking of classic, actually, Mike, I'm going to be looking for some uh, classical music out in the park. Tiffany, Sounds what are you guys good. doing in here? Oh, we're going to play some good games, uh, do a little dancing, maybe. All right, All right cool. Yeah. Well, guys, I am out of here. Out of here. There we go. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Now, when you're out with your friends and you can't decide what song to play in the jukebox, do what most people do. Fight for the jukebox, yeah! Now, each of our captains have five wooden nickels, and when I give the signal, they're going to pass those nickels through each kid in their bleacher. And when the nickel reaches the top, the last kid is going to drop it into the coin slot, and it's going to go all the way down to the bottom. Now, the captain's going to pick up that nickel, and he's going to run it back to the jukebox, and they're going to have to put him right in these slots right here, the nickel slots. Once all five nickels are back into the jukebox, they're going to press this play button right here and light up the jukebox. Now, I hear the green team wants to hear some Belle Biv DeVoe, and the purple team's looking for some uh, Motley Crue. So, uh, let's see who gets their choice of music first. On your marks, get set, go! Okay, they're passing their nickels. All right, I see some nickels heading up to the top. Ooh, they're going into the top row there. touch this. Good sound. Hey, guys, you like music? Yes. You like to dance? Yes. All right. Well, you know, it takes more than a nice dud to impress somebody on the dance floor. You have to have some fancy footwork and a little acrobatics help. Then our first guests know how to make a great impression. Let's hear it for the Night Force Breakdancers. Woo! be acrobatic but it would be nice if you knew how to fall when you're going to fall to save yourself <laughs> but uh, you don't I have to be actually acrobatic inclined or anything i suppose that would help um how how often do you guys practice uh basically all the time i mean music is like second nature so when you hear music you want to dance so whenever <laughs> whenever and you know where are you guys learning all your new stuff well if you go to a lot of the newer clubs uh some of the videos that are coming out but basically, the best way to learn new stuff is to make it up yourself. Take a dance that you know and improvise on it, and then you'll come up with your own original type of dance. 
Sounds good. Well, we're going to bring out a few kids. All right, you two are going to show them your stuff. Come on down, guys. We have Jennifer and Steve here. Meet Mike and Phil. Okay. They're going to show you a few steps. Why don't you go right to it? Okay, first of all, uh, this is a dance that's kind of outdated, I would say, but because of Arsenio Hall and MTV and everything, he insists on bringing this dance back. It's called the Cabbage Patch. Yeah. Go to it. <laughs> Right now, get a little bit comfortable with the beat. Flowing with it, moving that chest, throwing those arms out. Woo! The groove was in the heart. <laughs> you guys got another step for us here? Are you gonna do another one? Okay, our next step we're gonna do is a house variation. House dancing has really been the big kick for the 90s, and I'm just gonna show you a variation of a house step. All right. Looks like a lot of fun. Well, let's hear it. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, you guys. Well, uh, we're going to hand the mic on over to you because I think Tim's going to show me a step or two. Okay. Tim is going to show Tiffany a step that MC Hammer is making famous right now. It's kind of a hopping step, just like that. And actually, the step I heard was used in the 70s also, and it came back. Let's try it out. Woo! Woo! Give her a hand. Well, guys, you got something else for us? Let's go to it. M music maestro. something to say to the green guys. What is the guy? Yeah! All right! Satisfaction when we're done. Satisfaction of what's to come. Grimace, the movie started. More excitement than ever, full of thrills and chills. What could it be? McDonald's Happy Meals, starring... Happy Meals! Soft drink and fries! We're Happy Meals fries! I love movies with a happy meal ending. <laughs> <laughs> Walt Disney Pictures' new animated movie, The Rescuers Down Under, is now playing only at a theater near you. And only at McDonald's, you can get a toy movie camera and see a mini Rescuers adventure inside. One toy with each McDonald's Happy Meal you buy. This here's the Cruncher, and these are tough tracks, like Gravedigger, King Crunch, Carolina Crusher, Equalizer. That's the Mondo and Mondo truck. He sold separately from Galoop. Are you tough enough for tough tracks? Lights bright, lights bright, turn on the magic of colored lights. Kids just pop in the colored pegs to create favorite characters or their own light pictures. Lights bright, lights bright, turn on the magic of shining lights. Light bright from Milton Bradley. It's Mike here on my purple team, and I'm just hanging out with them. And guys, do you have any problems? My brother's always fighting. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Right, too. Out of here. 
3-2-8-1-1-4-6-3-0. South Kirkman Road, number 315, Orlando, Florida, 32811. Now, if someone tells you to get a life or to get away, there's not a lot you can do but to head for the door. But if someone says, get a clue, now you're in business. You see, behind me on the table, I've got five clues here, and they relate to a specific character. And we've got three kids on each team that are going to try to guess who that character is just by looking at these clues. So let's go over to the green side and meet them. On the green team, your name? William. Hi, William. Hi, what's your name? Alan. Hi, Alan. Layla. Layla, green team! <laughs> Okay, now let's meet the guessers over on the purple side. No problem. And on my awesome purple team, we have... Brant, Kim, Angela. Purple! Okay, those are our players. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to reveal these clues one at a time. As soon as I reveal the clue, you will have five seconds to guess what the who the character is. If you hear the buzzer, hold all your guesses until I reveal the next clue. So let's start with the first one down here. Let me unveil this. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, here they are. We have this lovely thing right yes. here. You know anything? Any guesses? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Set those there. Okay. okay. Let's go on to our next item. Item number two. Yes. Voila. Anybody know? Anybody have a guess? Guesses. You have a guess? Paper shirt. No. no guesses yet. Okay, going on to item number three. Guesses. Guess mm -hmm. Samurai Warrior. Samurai? No. No, no. no I heard guess? Samurai and a Warrior. Okay. No. Nope. Okay. okay. Item number four. N Ninja Turtles. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja, Ninja Turtles. I, I hear something warm. Leonardo. Leonardo, Leonardo is correct. Yeah. It goes to the green. <laughs> Let's recap our clues real quick. We had tortoise shell sunglasses for our first clue. Then we had some shredded paper. Of course, the weapon you used, the samurai sword here, and the manhole cover here. And the fifth clue that we didn't even need was Leonardo's mask. So, hey, the green just tied it up. Give, your, give yourself a hand. All right. Hey, it's time for a sound check. So uh, let's check out this video. Boom. Garage. Oh, garage. Hey! Keep it in! Cut it out! Kick it out! Keep it in! Cut it out! Kick it out! I just love classics. That was Onion Skin by Boom Crash Opera, and we're gonna find out what two members of our audience think we have on the purple team, Daniel, and on the green team, Beth. Thanks guys for being on the show. All right. Okay, <laughs> our first category is the dance factor. Daniel, you dance to the song. So you can really move to it? Oh, Big Tim, you want to show me how you would dance to it? No. Okay, I want to ask you this. <laughs> Could you dance to Onion Skin? Could you really get down? Not really. Really? Mm -hmm. well, what would you give it? About a four. Oh, four on the... Hey, 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 don't, don't impress them in here. Okay, now we have the lyric factor. For the lyric in Onion Skin, did it make you want to cry? No pun intended. Daniel. Uh, not that much, so I'll give it a seven. Seven, all right. Okay, Beth, time to shine. The lyric, could you hit you right here? No, because I didn't really understand what they were saying anyway. <laughs> so what do you give them? A two. Ooh, boy, you, you don't like this, do you? How did I know? Anyway, this is the last category, the bottom line. Guys, if you walked into a music store and you saw this CD, would you buy it? Daniel? Well, even though I don't own a CD, I'd still buy it. <laughs> All right. That's, well, hey, you got one buyer here. Beth, what about you? Would you buy it? Nope. No. You would you even listen to it? No, I don't like it. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Now, we know what two members of our audience think. Now, we're going to find out what everybody thinks on an instant poll. From out of here, guys, here are your choices. A, 
Onion skin is a booming success. B, blow the boom on those guys. Or C, they're a real bomb. Vote now. All right, stop voting. To put it simply, you guys voted that it said, ooh, real bomb. Now, tell me, did you like it? No. And why didn't you like it? Because I didn't like the beat of it. You didn't like the beat, so you wouldn't even dance to it? Nope. And what about you, sir? I didn't really think that it really had any, uh, you know, plot. No plot? No plot. Videos have plot. <laughs> I love that one. And what about you, ma'am? Um, they keep repeating the same words over and over again. I know the feeling. Bruce does it all the time. Um, let's see what's going on. <laughs> All right, well, you know, the score is tied so far. But guys, one, two, three, green team's got a clue. Purple team, get a light. Yeah! Woo! <laughs> When Out of Here's Over and you're still thirsting for action, wet your whistle with Hey Dude. Weekdays after Out of Here on the only network for dudes. Whoa. And I never have time to do what I want to do. Oh, man. And what about you? I'm Sarah. I'm from Buffalo. And my sister always hits me for no reason. For no reason? Oh, we'll take care of that. <laughs> uh, Karen, what's going on? While diving in a Florida river recently, our next guest found a bone so huge, it'd be enough to satisfy quite a few dogs, I'd say. Well, the, burned, the bone turned out to be part of a huge prehistoric mastodon skeleton. Here to help us bone up on a few fossils is fossil hunter Don Bunning. <laughs> Bunning. Thank you. How are you? Thank you. Very good. Well, Thank you. Thank I you. wonder, um, how did you get into fossil hunting? Well, as a child, my parents always took me down to Venice Beach, which is on the West Coast, mm -hmm. and it all began with tiny little shark's teeth. Mm -hmm. And from there, it kind of worked up into this. To this. Okay, and where can you find fossils? You can find fossils all over the state of Florida. Mm -hmm. You can find them on dry land. All that you see on the table in front of you was found underwater. I'm mm -hmm. an underwater archaeologist. Oh, 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 underwater? I would think that anything underwater would decay after a while, no? Well, quite a bit of it does. Um, only a small sampling of all bone material actually becomes fossilized. And that's what you're looking at here, okay. is uh, bones that were kept uh, through the years either in peat or clay or something that impenetrated the minerals, mm -hmm. uh, the minerals impenetrated the bones, and they and ended, up, together. ended up being fossilized. Okay, and so we have some things that you brought over here for us. If you yes, can. this is a model of a woolly mammoth. Now, everybody probably recognizes this. It looks like a modern elephant with hair. Mm -hmm. um, this is a tooth from a woolly mammoth. Now, this tooth alone weighs 30 pounds. That's just one tooth. And a mammoth usually has four teeth in its mouth. So I guess you can imagine walking around with 120 pounds of teeth in your mouth. That should be Mike, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, and so I guess all of these would represent that. Yes, these, this is a tooth from a different species known as mastodon. And that's simply a tooth that's out of the jaw, and that tooth is in the jaw. OK, and so we'll work our way over here. How about these right here? Well, these are bones from different animals. But first, I'll show you this tusk. OK. This tusk came from the same animal as the woolly mammoth. Okay. And this was found in Venice too. And I have a short clip if oh, I can, uh, if you can run that, you can roll it. from an upcoming documentary that uh, we're producing right here at Show Entertainment okay. Incorporated and in Universal show? Florida. Great. Um, mm -hmm. That shows a tusk being exposed right now. Now the divers are standing there, and some of them are fanning, and then some of them use a dredge, which is like a giant underwater vacuum, okay. to suck away the dirt and expose the bone material or the tusk material. So they could see what they're looking mm -hmm. at. And that's a four-foot tusk being brought up. If it was a complete one, it would be about eight feet long, and we've brought up two of those so far. Okay, that sounds really interesting. And then getting back to the table, this is a, everybody's heard of a great white shark, and this is a tooth from a great white shark, okay. about a 15-footer. And this is, a, this is a tooth from its ancient relative known as Carcharodon megalodon. So if that's a 15-foot shark, you can imagine how huge that shark must have that's been. That's tremendous. So w could you, would, you, would you have any idea how big that would be? I mean, for a bite? Probably, it big. was probably an 80-foot shark, about the size oh. of a boxcar. Okay. And we'll, we'll work our way over here. These, are, these aren't teeth. No, these aren't teeth. These are ribs 
from a manatee. It's an extinct species of ancient manatee. And of course, everyone in Central Florida should be very aware of our manatee plight here. Our manatees are on the endangered species list. Right. So we really all have to pull together and hope that our manatees don't end up like that one did. Right. Well, thanks so much. We're out of time already. Thanks so much, everyone. Help me thank Don Bruning. You bet. Thank you. Well, Bruce is out at the park. What's up, Bruce? A lot of music lovers come to visit us here at Universal, and most seem pretty well versed in popular music, but I wondered how well they knew classical music, so I selected a classical piece at random and asked them to perform it for me. Here were the results. Meet George Jackson! He's boy alive! Daughter Judy! Jane, his wife. <laughs> Jeez, you know, in the old days, you really had to know your classics in order to call yourself a music lover. The times, they are a-changing. Back to you in the studio. Thanks a lot, Bruce. Now, how can you enjoy a great movie and the great outdoors at the same time? Well, you could put your TV and your VCR into your backyard, or you could go to the drive-in movies. And we've got two couples from each team that are going to the drive-in today. So let's meet the couples over on the purple side. No problem. And on the purple side, we have... Ann. Whoa. Chris. Bob. Beth. Um, uh... Purple team. Gee, purple. Those are some great car noises. Now let's meet the couples over on the green. My friends on the green team. <laughs> Your name? Jeff. Okay, Jeff. Bridget, Bridget and... Katrina and David. Dave, and what are we going to do the purple team? Run them over. All right, green. <laughs> okay, we have our players. Now, as soon as we start the game, when I give the signal, the guys decide that they're hungry, so they're going to run all the way back here to the snack bar, and they're going to pick up some popcorn. Once they grab that popcorn, they're going to run back up and take their place back in the car. Once those doors are completely shut, the girls, you see, they've changed their mind. They want candy now. You know, we could change our minds. Anyways, they're going to get up themselves, and they're going to come back here to the snack bar again. This time, they're going to grab their candy, and they're going to run back up to their car. Now, once they're all complete in the car, you know, it looks a little bit cloudy overhead, so all four of them are going to jump up out of the car, and they're going to run back to their trunk where they have their umbrellas. They're going to all have to get their umbrellas, and what they're going to have to do is they're going to have to pull all four of their umbrellas up when they get in the car. Now, listen. If you don't put your umbrella up, you are really going to get rained on. Believe me, team, you're going to get rained on. So let's find out who can get their umbrellas up first. And let's recap the game. You see, it's one to one right now. Green one, purple one. So whoever gets the game gets the day. So good luck to both of you. On your marks, get set, and do it! They're off! And they're grabbing their popcorn, and they're headed back to the car. I'm seeing some doors shut there. OK, the girls are off for their candy. Shutting. Yes, they're all in. They're going for their umbrellas. They're reaching into the trunk. Oh, they're getting in the car. They're shutting the doors. They're popping up their umbrellas. We need some doors shut. Oh, we have it. We have it on the purple side. Congratulations, guys. Way to go, purple. Oh, wow. Hey, Tiffany. Raining on I'm the surprised green. Mike's here and not at the snack bar. Oh, you're right. <laughs> Oh, Mike, Mike, you can't be too. Just like this video is in Orlando, Florida. Bye! See ya! <laughs> Sorry about the camera. Almost killed no, no. Whoa, oh, oh, you. Oh, you're happy. Some members of our audience will receive Koosh Ball, the ball that's soft, wiggly, colorful, and wild. It's a handful of fun that's loved by everyone. Koosh Ball. Once you catch it, you won't want to put it down. A promotional consideration has been provided by Total Recall Video Game. Get ready for the ride of your life in Total Recall, the NES game based on the Schwarzenegger blockbuster movie. Defeat the Martian mutants, secret agents, and more from acclaim.